coach, it was looking pretty comfortable there for you guys for a while. Um, one point in the game, can you kind of identify as a moment where it started to go wrong? Um, oh, I think there's a couple of points. I think it wasn't as comfortable as people made out. You know, there was a bit of to and fro, and um, obviously when people um, are taken from the field and and things like that, it makes it difficult when you're you know one man down going against teams. So. Um, uh, we were going well, and, and but I think their intensity, the Storm's intensity on defence, you know, they had a, a very a good plan in place to put pressure on our runners, and and they're able to slow our ball down, um, and you know, made it difficult for us to get into our work. So, you know, I, I, I wouldn't say there was a, a point where it all went wrong. I, I just think they they were just relentless in, in um, what they were doing. You know, they stuck to it right till the end, and they got some confidence up. Um, before half time, obviously, when they scored, um, and then uh, in the second half again, you know, they just were relentless and, and you know jumping on loose ball and, and you know, creating some opportunities from um, some turnovers. So, you know, yeah, for us uh, it was difficult. It was a difficult day. I don't think it was uh, um, you know uh, all all going one way at all. Not tonight. Coach, um, do you do you think some of the different indecisions had had an impact on, on the match? Um, you realise I'm, I'm, I'm not allowed to answer to uh, questions about refereeing decisions and, and the way that goes. So, hey, look, we've got a process that uh, we go through and, um, uh, and we'll do that differently. We'll make sure that we do go through that process and something's done from it. So, um, yeah, there were, there's some key calls, obviously. <coughs> and uh, uh, you, you saw how difficult it is to play with 14 men, especially at the back end of a game. Um, but uh, we understood that as you know coming over here, we talked about it. You know, there's been a lot of yellow and red cards uh, over here in South Africa uh, every time New Zealand teams play. So you know, it wasn't as if we didn't expect it. But you know, again, it's just the way, it's the way it goes. Coach, uh, how do you rate the storms compared to the other side? Can think of uh, again, I just think that they brought. Huge intensity tonight. You, know, you could tell, and, and we knew. You know, they'd been across to New Zealand and, and had a, had a lot of you know, success. And you know, they were sitting here waiting at home, and they wanted to put a good performance on in front of their home crowd, which is you know what you what you'd expect. Um, I think they were led really well um, by their forward pack, and you know, but in saying that, our boys stepped up to it too. You know, it was just towards those dying minutes where we just couldn't hang on to the ball or, or get our game going. So, you know, those things that we need to look at. Donna, where does this leave you now, especially in that race for the top spot in your conference? Yeah, it's tough. It's tough for us now. You know, we've, I think it's been fairly well documented that we had to win all our games to get into the, um, have any chance of making the playoffs. So that hasn't happened. So we'll just have to sit back and, you know, look at the lay of the land and see where we go from here. But you know, we've got, still got two games um, uh, of the tournament before June and, you know, we want to finish well. We want to finish very well, and you know, we've got to get home and uh, and uh, you know, get connected with uh, the rest of our squad back home. And, you know, and we've got the Chiefs on Friday, so we can't dwell too long. I know it's out of their hands, but you could have more points and not qualify for the players compared to other teams who would. Have. <laughs> yeah, I, get that. I have to answer that question every week. Uh, again, it's just the way it is. You know, the, the competition's set up. Um, yeah, it, it's. Not ideal, but uh, you know it's uh, it's been like that for the last couple of years, and we know that. And you know, for us to progress, we need to make sure that you know, we're scoring um, enough points, but also you know we need to be winning games, and we just haven't done that you know, against um, the crucial teams that we need to do that against. Donna, it's your second season now in charge, and how do you see how do you see this team progressing since we're taking over? Uh, oh, uh, I think so. From obviously, I, I look from within, and um, the growth of our players and um, our team you know, has been um, has been great for, for, for me to see. Um, but again, you know, look, in the end, we're all judged on results. That's what everyone wants to see. You know, we want our players to grow and, and compete like you, and achieve as much as they can. You know, through rugby, and uh, we're, we're getting that. But we're not getting the points that we need on the uh, on the tournament board. So. You know, Sometimes, you know, those things don't, don't matter. James, uh, a couple of heated battles um, on the field and 
Was it your plan to sort of like get under, we, we saw that in the first um, couple of minutes, get under the skin of, of guys like Ibn, Elizabeth and, and Peter Stepp? It wasn't a plan at all, mate. Um, if you attack one of our brothers, we're all going to jump in. It's as simple as that. It's a team philosophy and, um, you know, it was war out there and that's what it felt like at times. So, uh, as I said after the game, I'm pretty proud of the group, especially the resiliency that we're showing. Um, if we just sort of hung on with the physical battle in that last 20 and, and adjusted to the ref better, um, I'm sure we could have put ourselves in a better position towards the end. How important is, does it become now for you, especially uh, you've won all these games against uh, uh, overseas sides, but uh, facing up to, 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 to Kiwi sides becomes uh, very important uh, and actually winning, especially yeah. next week? Yeah, I mean, look, back home in front of our family and friends and against the Chiefs, and I don't think they've lost to a New Zealand side until last night for a long time, so, um, you know, we we just got to get ourselves right and, and make sure that we play to our our strengths and, and you know do it for 80 minutes um, but as Tana sort of touched on it that's what's cost us is our conference games but at the end of the day if you're going to win this competition you've got to beat them anyway so we've got to do a better job at that and um, still think we've progressed really well as a group and um, I'm sure you know if we can put these last three games to bed we'll give ourselves a chance if results can go our way. James and uh, the Chiefs lost you how intimidating uh, is it to come and play at, at Newlands, especially we heard the, the, the crowd in the last couple of minutes rallying behind the storm? Yeah, well, it's exciting for me from a player's point of view. There's a lot of history here. Um, teams have had a lot of success and obviously a lot of battles. Um, so from our point of view, we built our week really well. Um, there was We weren't intimidated, that's sure, and I think you saw that for 60, 65 minutes. Um, well, to be fair, 80 minutes, um, but uh, we know it's a hard place to come and win. Uh, that's a reality. Um, so from that sense in our prep, it wasn't talked about. We sort of used it as an exciting challenge. And um, I think the boys stepped up to it and, you know, the atmosphere, we bought into that. And look, we had some good fans. You know, they've been supported us all week and, and, you know, it's sort of a little home away from home sometimes. So, you know, it sort of goes each way. Coach, you know, you cut a, a very cool figure, but a few months, moments ago you said you judge on results. Is there any, pre do you feel any pressure uh, with regards to your job? Um, no, no, not at this stage. Um, you know, look, it, it is what it is. Uh, I think I've always said there's only two kinds of coaches in this game, and those that, that have been sacked and those that are about to be sacked. So, you know, when you live with that kind of mantra, it seems to be, it's always in the back of your mind, but it does it sets, it's easy, you, you know what I mean? So, yeah, those things are out of my hands. I, I've just got to try and prepare this group as best I can and you know, get the results that we need, and, and we haven't so far, so, you know. But at that stage, I've got another year, so, and hopefully, you know, <laughs> it's not too soon. Oh, no, um he has received a call-up um, from <coughs> Eddie Jones, uh, England. Got a knock today. What's what is the update um, on him, and how does it look? Oh, you know, again, if you, with the way that um, I think the seriousness of concussion now, and you know, we don't take any risks, but you know, Piers was just in the changing room. He was fine. You know, he was again as as Piers is. He's a he's a, a true competitor. He's wondering why he came off. And it's probably because you know didn't realise he had a sleep during the game, and, and you know. And, but you know, we won't take any risks, and um, so he's he's feeling 100% at the moment you know, in his terms. But we've got to monitor that he's still got to f uh, fulfil the protocol of returning to play, and uh, he'll do that. You know, if he's not feeling well, then you know we won't take any risks. We make sure he won't. And just lastly, on him, um, how good is it to see that the foreign team gets to? Big guys that's coming from your your squad. Um, sorry, in, in foreign <coughs> foreign <coughs> players. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, look, um, you know, Piers um, is a great story. He left England at a young age to come over to New Zealand because he wanted to, you know, um, you know try rugby over here and improve himself. And he's done that. You know, he's achieved a lot. And um, we're very proud of the fact that he now he's going to get. Uh, to represent his country, he can be a bit uh, 
annoying sometimes talking <laughs> about his country. Um, but you know, again, you know, the boys love him and and um, what he does and what he brings to us. He brings a lot of energy. Um, doesn't stop talking, which I think is the annoying part sometimes. But it's great for our, for our group, you know. So. You know, all these different pieces that come together, you know, they make up um, your team and you know, they become part of the culture. So, you know, we all, uh, no one's swing, um, singing, uh, you know, um, was it Swing Low, Sweet Chariots at the moment. No one's having them sing that, but he always tries to j- ch- chuck it in there. But, um, but we'll be supporting him in the back. Tana, um, the Crusaders remain unbeaten this term. What do you think uh, sets them apart from the Jason Pack at the moment? Ah. Uh, I think they're just a team with high on confidence. They've got quality players across the board, um, you know, and, and uh, quality leadership as well. Uh, obviously, and that starts from you know their, their coaching staff uh, all the way to on the field. You know, so they're a pretty settled team, and um, you know they've uh, they've obviously got something going there. So you know, they're they're a tough team. You know, to do what they've done um, up to this stage is, is very impressive, and um, you know. If, you can't see it uh, the way they're playing. You can't see it stopping any time soon. It seems that uh, it's, it's probably a work uh, that's come on for, from previous years with, with Todd Black earlier as well as the Giddles names, and especially the youngsters that uh, they just brought in. Uh, you just brought on from, from, from where uh, Todd left off? Oh, I'd say you'd have to say say that, you know, but again, you can't take away from what um, you know, Scott and... Uh, Leon and uh, Jason, or the, the crew that they've got there, Brad, you know, they've obviously implemented something else as well, and, and just taken it to another level. You know. So, uh, yeah, look, yeah, it's great to watch, but you know, I don't watch them too much because I've got other things to worry about it, you know, in our own backyard. So.